Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic equation. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x is equal to x over 3. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x over 3 on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0 times 3. Well, 0 times any number is simply going to be 0. So 0 times 3, that's 0. So now I have 3 times x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and evaluate 3 times x minus x over 3. So to do this, I'm going to multiply 3 by all the terms in the parentheses. 3 times x, that's 3x. And 3 times negative x over 3, that's simply going to be negative x because these two 3's cancel out. So now I have 3x. minus x is equal to 0. Now, 3x minus x, that's simply equal to 2x. So now I have 2x equals 0. And now this is pretty simple to solve. All I need to do is divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is simply 0. So this is my answer. Now to check, I had x is equal to x over 3. And now my, the value of x is 0. So now I have 0 is equal to 0 over 3. 0 divided by any number is simply 0. So now I have 0 equals 0. And because this is right, I know my solution is right. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98. So first off, 100, this is the same thing as 98 plus 2. 99, this is the same thing as 98 plus 1. And 98, that's the same thing as 98. So now if I replace these in for 199, I get 2 to the power of 98 plus 2 minus 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 98 plus 2, let's first start with that, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 98 plus 1, this is going to equal 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1. And 2 to the power of 98, we're simply going to leave that by itself, we're not going to change that. So now from here, you can see that all three of these terms have 2 to the power of 98 in them. So now if I factor out 2 to the power of 98, I get 2 to the power of 98 times, well, 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 98, simply 2 to the power of 2. And now negative 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 2 to the power of 1. And finally, negative 2 to the power of 98 divided by 2 to the power of 98 is negative 1. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. So now this gives me 2 to the power of 98 times 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And 4 minus 2 to the power of 1 is simply 2, and I have minus 1. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 98 times 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have 2 to the power of 98 times 1, 
And this is simply equal to 2 to the power of 98 because anything times 1 is itself. So this is my answer. All right, so I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now to start, x to the power of 4, this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2, because 4 is 2 times 2. And 16, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I'm going to write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x squared and b is equal to 4. So now I have x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So now x squared minus 4, this is the same thing as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So now this is going to give me three equations. I have x squared plus 4 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So first off, for x squared plus 4 equals 0, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So now these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x squared is equal to negative 4. Now, to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So now I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. Well, the square root of x squared is simply equal to x. So I have x is equal to the square root of negative 4. That's the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, that's equal to i. So now I have x is equal to the square root of 4, i. Now the square root of 4, that's the same thing as positive or negative 2. So if x equals positive or negative 2i. Now for x plus 2 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. And now I'm left with x is equal to negative 2. So that's my answer. And for x minus 2 equals 0, I can add 2 on both sides. And I'm left with x equals positive 2. So my four solutions are x is equal to 2i, x is equal to negative 2i, x is equal to 2, and x equals negative 2.